All right, class, so today I have in front of you a time machine. And this time machine, uh, we're going to test this on an uh, inanimate object. Um, I'm going to send this book forward five seconds in time. Okay? So we're going to put the book in the center of these microwave rays, and I'm going to turn this machine on. And we're going to watch the book vanish and go five, forward five seconds in time. So let's do that. So let us turn on our machine. There's the needle. Two. Now the machine is ready to go. Turning this knob will allow me to send the book forward five seconds in time. So here we go. I'm going to send the book forward. I'm going to adjust to make the adjustment. Going up, here we are at five, five seconds. And all I'm gonna do, turn the knob, and uh, What's that helmet plugged into the machine for? Well, theoretically, this machine could transport a person back in time. But I haven't tried it personally myself. The outcome could be catastrophic. Wait, but if you go back in time, you can change the past, right? You can fix mistakes you've made? Well, it is true that if he were to go back in time, one could alter the events in his own past. But some theorize that even if he were to travel to the past, interact with the past, the future events that he knows to be true would still occur. I don't get it. What does that mean? It means that even if you caught in the past last time, we still would have lost the game. Oh. Thought you were pretty funny in there, huh, Chris? Hey, well, actually, don't want any trouble. Should have thought of that before. Stop! Stop! Don't get any further! Stop right there! Stop! Stop! Don't say Wait, anything. wait. How can you Shut up! Listen, if you're on the corner, Bush is gonna beat you up. I don't see anyone. What? That... that can't be right. That, that must mean... Oh, oh no. Weren't you listening in class? You can change the events, but you can't change the outcome. 